destination. Enjoy your stay. Buster. Oh, it's okay. 
the trolls inside the palace. <laughs> Surrender! It is not too late! Surrender! Defensive cannons activated. I'm targeting the Republic ships now. done here. The Republic ships have been wiped out. Outstanding. You have exceeded even my most aggressive calculations. Meanwhile, the Republic's chances at victory on Corellia have decreased at least 43%. Unfortunately, and perhaps unsurprisingly, the King's assault has not been as successful. I believe Petrif and Akoru have breached the palace, but the last of my droids have been destroyed. I have no visibility. Please, meet them in the throne room. Ensure the greatest possible victory for our empire. Savik out. <laughs> will return to the old ways, the pure ways. Your blood will wash away centuries of desecration. You don't fight for Onderon. You fight for your own bigoted agenda. 
You fight, and you lose. His loss is my gain, Nabet. I've beaten you. I've won. Did you really believe you could steal the throne of the great King Petrif? Steal your throne? What in blazes are you talking about? No sense lying now. Your treason is over. I've won. You... you fight for the Empire, Petrif. What have you done? I have secured the prosperity of my planet forever. Now I rule Onderon, not the Republic and not you. You're a pawn, Petrif. Don't you see? You've doomed our world! A Republic Senator is a valuable prisoner. We look forward to learning everything you know. I knew you were a fool. But I never dreamed you could do something like this. I can do anything, Nabet. I am king. King! You! Step forward! Your service to my rule shall never be forgotten. The people of Onderon will cheer your heroism for centuries to come. I'm sure you'll be the one they yell about for years to come. Now yes, perhaps so. Now then, so many matters to attend to. I must take stock of things. Please, inform Darth Savick of our great victory. I've confirmed it with my own sensors. Total destruction of all Republic ships in orbit. And without a single Imperial casualty. You have served your Empire well indeed, Savik. Empress Asina will reward your ingenuity and loyalty. Savik has done a great job. Her plan worked perfectly. Without you, this would not have been possible. I am fortunate to have worked alongside you. With Petrif as our puppet ruler, Onderon's resources will help ensure the Empire's future. Resources are not our most urgent concern. Savik, you will depart for Corellia at once. Yes, Lord Malgus. Another fleet of Republic reinforcements is docking at Megshar, as Darth Valron predicted. That will be your next target. Ensure another victory and the Republic will have no hope of stopping us. So, what's our next stop? Set course for Mekshaw. Ah, we know it well. A mined-out asteroid converted into a fueling station. <coughs> we would love to join you. If you think your alliance has room, of course. Please? Please? It's been a pleasure working with you again. Welcome to the Alliance. Wonderful. <coughs> I have a shuttle prepped and ready, shall we? Need some help?
Welcome to Mech Shah, outlaw crossroads of the galaxy. Darth Shah. I'm pleased we finally have an opportunity to work together. I've heard such delicious things about you. I serve Darth Varor, head of Imperial Logistics and Civil Order. He asked that I aid in supervising this operation due to my experience with the galaxy's criminal element. This intriguing specimen is a member of the Brothers, our key allies on the station. They've provided the Empire with quality slave labor for many years. It is our great honor to take those without value and give them value, to give labor to those without purpose. Why don't you tell me your plans for Mech Shah? As direct as your reputation. Our goal here is more complex than it might seem. Let's step into the operations center to discuss the details. Wait. What? this was that I have no idea but I appreciate the help anytime it's good to see you again Lord Shah still in one piece oh oh yes the force was strong with him pity he didn't stand a chance for a Sith to defy the Empress and attack you during a top priority mission. You must have done something truly stirring. I don't remember making any Sith angry lately. None that are alive, at least. Perhaps he simply wanted a challenge. Fascinating. Ah, well. You handled him easily enough. Best if we return to the mission at hand. Shall we? Greetings. I am Darth Varon of the Dark Council. It is a pleasure to have you join us for this mission. I overheard something of a commotion. Is everything all right? Someone attempted to kill our dear guest. An assassination attempt? Dreadful. I do apologize. It was nothing I couldn't handle. Of course. They should have known better than to try. Now then, Char, let's go over what we've planned. A Republic fleet key to the defense of Corellia has taken position nearby and intends to purchase fuel from Mekshar in order to continue their journey. It is our task to ensure that this fleet never reaches its destination. So we stop them from refueling. Unfortunately, that wouldn't fulfill our Empress's command. If the fleet cannot acquire fuel, they'll simply consolidate what fuel they have into their most powerful warships and send them on. 
We do not have sufficient vessels to prevent this, and we must make every effort to stop the entire fleet. Then we lure them in and attack while they transfer the fuel. Just so, my friend. Major Anri, explain your discovery. It just so happens that a perfect weapon is built into this rock. All we have to do is take control of it. See, this place used to belong to the Huts, till their slaves revolted and kicked them out. Now Mekshar's neutral, run by the five biggest crews on the station. Hutbreaker, she led the revolt. Well, she wanted to be sure nobody could show up and steal what she and the other slaves just won. So they put in a failsafe. It fires a pulse that neutralizes all the fuel in Mekshar's tanks, plus whatever's in the fuel lines, and any ships attached. We could even juice the pulse up a bit, make it strong enough to ignite the fuel everywhere but the tanks, fry every ship in the fleet. Perfect. How do we get started? The decision of whether to sell fuel to the Republic fleet hasn't been made yet. It depends on a majority vote by the top five crews. It falls to you to persuade them to vote in favor of selling the fuel. To help the Republic walk into our trap. Fortunately, you have the perfect opportunity to get started. Brother? Huffbreaker hosts a celebration, an auction of pointless material wealth gained without effort. The five strongest crews are invited. You join our dear friends at Huffbreaker's auction. Ensure that the crews vote in favor of selling the fuel and help the Republic slip its head into the noose. Consider it done, Lord Shar. If any other developments occur in the meantime, we will inform you at once. And watch your back. At least one of these crews is already in the Republic's corner, or the fleet wouldn't have come here in the first place. Best of luck. meeting you here, boss. We were catching up with Theron and Lana, and they mentioned you were here. Figured we'd lend a hand. We've cut a few deals with these people over the years. With our help, you'll know just how to play them. They'll vote however you want. I'll be glad to have any information you can give me. Just doing our part. If you're ready, let's head inside. First up, Hutbreaker, revolutionary leader, liberator, and unofficial queen of Mech Shah. Her crew runs the main docks. 
She won't need much convincing. Selling that fuel will bring in a small fortune. But that only stands if you keep the peace. You get too messy with any of these gangs, Hutbreaker will lock things down no matter how much she stands to make. Keeping Mechshaw safe is her top priority. All right. Darth Shar said that one of the crew leaders is a Republic sympathizer. What can you tell me? Junker Jot, retired Republic Navy. His people handle maintenance for all of Mechshaw. They're the reason we've got air to breathe and a nice view that doesn't kill us. Jot doesn't really have a crew, just droids and other engineers like him. But without them, this place literally doesn't work. So they get a seat at the table. Needless to say, the Republic will get his vote to refuel, so no need to get involved there. Better to focus on the other crew leaders. Why bother with the others? Hutbreaker and Jot will vote in the Republic's favor. We tell the brothers to do the same, and we have a majority. The brothers' relationship with the Empire is no secret. If they suddenly vote to sell fuel to the Republic, it will seem way too suspicious. Yeah, it's more of a hassle, but you'll need a vote from one of the other crew leaders to keep the Republic from looking too closely. First is Veet the Snake. He runs a Rodian smuggling ring, the Harido Walls, one of the biggest operations in the galaxy. Veek's a businessman. He can be anybody's friend if there's an upshot for him. Just have to figure out what he needs and make sure he gets it. The other crew leader is Indigo, Mandalorian. Well, ex-Mandalorian. Same with his crew. They're called something like Dar... Dharma, Darm... Darmanda. They're mercs and gunrunners. Indigo has some kind of rivalry with Veek, so it's a good thing you only need one of them to vote your way. Veek or Indigo? Simple enough. Thank you for your help. What are friends for? Looks like Hutbreaker's about to give her big welcome speech. Let's find a good spot. Meksha! How are you doing tonight? Look at us! We are surviving! We are thriving! We are turning this tiny rock into the beating heart of the galaxy! Just a few years ago, we were slaves! Now, we're masters! Imagine what we can become in just a few more years! All we've got to do is stay us! Be what we've been so far! We keep the peace, we keep the balance, and we keep moving forward! We've got the whole galaxy laid out in front of us. Everyone else just doesn't see it yet. All they see are the soldiers, politicians, Sith, Jedi. All the people who think they run things. Who think their wars decide who's in charge. The truth is, they'll never be in charge. They'll never really run things. You know why? Because while they're busy killing each other, we're making deals, making friends, expanding everything they buy so they can blow each other up. We're selling and getting richer, stronger. By the time they stop and do the math, it will be too late. Because there will be a lot more of us than there are of them. And then, it will be us calling the shots. So stay the course, my friends. It only gets better from here. Welcome to Meksha. Did you enjoy this speech? I can see how you were able to inspire the rebellion against the Huts. I think you're one good blockade away from realizing who's actually in charge. Well, the Huts did most of the work for me, if I'm honest. Someone just had to fire the first shot. Now then, please enjoy our hospitality. Have a drink on me and keep the peace. You can keep the peace, yes? I have your Sith friend's word on it. The Sith aren't known for keeping their word or keeping the peace. Such cynicism! Commander, meet Tawi there, Jedi Knight. It's so rare that we can step away from the war for a peaceful chat. Just because nobody's shooting at each other yet. 
doesn't mean the war isn't here. The two of us have a prior appointment, I'm afraid. Please, enjoy the auction. I know you helped Malgus on Osis. You picked the wrong side. And you're going to regret it. Destroying the Republic isn't my goal. This war can end whenever we want it to. What? With another Treaty of Coruscant? I'll pass. Master Jedi. See you around. <laughs>